Hello family, I welcome you to Mahadi channel and I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even today he's still the Lord. He is good. I welcome you all. We have Celestia as usually she is here with a prophecy for South Africa, warning to South Africa about the principality of dragon that will be in South Africa. As South Africa as a nation, we need God more than before. Let's hear this prophecy. South Africa, wake up because now is a God's time. Now is a revelation time. Now is a prophecy time. Time of prayer is now. Arlo kwang selesia gato di bolela di tabache ka moka. Gato re tlhalosetsa gore na principality of dragon ga e fihla ka moka South Africa. Go tlo di ragala eng re le South Africa re le sechaba re le nation re tlhoka go dira jwang gore re bolele le modimo gore re gopele modimo e favor ka re ga maemo a re tlo bang ka re ga bona. Go mme bile o fana ka mohlala ka di chaba go ba di country tse ileng tsa ba ignorant ka bo prophet ga ana tlisha bo prophet ba o tsona le bio jalo ka America jalo ka Nigeria ga ene a ba hlalose tsa gore modimo o reng ka naga ya bona go mme ba ile ba ba ignorant ba bang ba ile ba tlhapa ola ba bang ba ile ba bolela ka mogoba tsebang ka bona e fela modimo e rile ga tlisha punishment eo go ile go se be monate ga le South Africa a re ba tabeleng bana ba modimo re be a country ya rona pele go se fatlhe go sa modimo me re repent as a country re gopele favor go tswa go modimo ba tamela o be ga o solo moswa ke wa mogetsi ka ramo ga di channel mo re tlo ithuta go nna o ska le bala go subscribe gore di tabatse ga di tsena di ska batsa go feta nena ke go amogetsi a re mo leselle mo prophet a di bie tshola pele mo prophet the lord was showing that south africa is a nation that has been overtaken by the principality of the of the dragon so if i can explain that to you the principality of the dragon is none other than lucifer himself satan fallen angel of light bringer of chaos and destruction into the lives of men when that principality is loose in a nation it is a brute force principality just go and read any folklore about dragons they're not known to be gentle they work with size they are extremely crafty and cunning in the old days when dragons were outside they used to converse with people they used to set you a riddle to see if you were smart enough this is the equivalent of a cat today playing with its food before it eats it these things were out there people were not dra drawing them in the mythology for nothing so when that spirit is over the violence the shedding of blood it will not be satisfied un unless there's a ritual somewhere it will not be satisfied unless there's a rape somewhere blood has to be coming out someone has to be cut from the throat down to the genitals and everything scooped up if i have to see these things in the visions you absolutely know they're coming out in the prophecies because I do not come here to pander to people's sensitivities. Clutch your pearls. I can't see you. I'm not moved by that. This is people's souls here. When the truth is told, deliverance comes. So the violence is there. If you, if you live in that country, you read your own newspapers. So you know then if this is tracking in truth. Or you can say, no, we're actually just like Norway and we don't know what you're talking about. But if you do know what I'm talking about, then God is saying that this spirit is winning. This is why people are so bloodthirsty. This is why there's so much rape, child abuse, human trafficking, femicide. These are big, big sins. We're no longer talking about stealing the pen. This is brutality against flesh. There's massive judgments for that. And God will let you have a war. So you can't just say, what do we do? This is prayer and fasting territory. This kind goeth out, not except by prayer and fasting. So that's the first thing. You need, you need to humble yourselves as a nation. And it's not the black side repenting and then the white side repenting. This is cohesiveness, co cohesiveness now. To say we will not go down like America. We have watched enough of these American videos and this is not how we want to end. Because God has said that there's a door for us. There's no door for them, but there's a door for us. We want to take that door. This is humbling yourself. This is humbling yourself. 
Let your ears be open to what the Lord is warning you about today. In March, 2022, the Lord gave me a prophecy for Nigeria. I brought the prophecy out. Nigeria behaved exactly like America. The insults were there. The accusations were there. What lies are these? You don't even know us. What are you talking about? All the things were said between March, 2022, and then in December, 2022, and January, 2023. What happened, Nigeria? Leave your testimony in the com comment section of what happened to your money. Leave your testimony in the comment section of how insane the jihadists have become, how bold they are now, bolder than you've ever seen them, and the government helpless like wet spaghetti in front of them. Leave your testimony in the comments of how you told me that the prophecy will return to me and my house. And then the prophecy decided that it didn't like my house and it was going to come to you in Nigeria after all and fulfill itself upon you even to the point that people lost their lives because of the government tricking you, destroying the economy, robbing you of your money and leaving you destitute. A rogue government, I said, would arise. And what do you have now? Do you like it? Don't mock the word of God when it comes and don't be misled by popular opinion. Kinje uwe odi ya dide sele shia odi beile fasi odi chato loji ya na mung hapa nadi vosaka di taka munga chona kumi wena ulungu na mudi mu ole muari wana kaya mikia tiba ora pana ba mudi mu ba wana ba ilungu ora bata yema di pa kenge kumi ba lule country ya bora ba salu fela ba iloka tapelo ara bata mene rema Afrika bora rwe country ya rona kumudi mu rukopele efei wa ya mudi mu rukopele swato sa mudi mu miru repente as a country, kia lebo gharu wile rukopa na kapi karal nene ule morito yi tuta ngo na oban. Kia lena nene ula tuto, aru wile rukopa na kapena kwen ela jalang. Oske wa fita iba khausu obane. Isa leje di nchiche lo ora dito tusha. Na lue na na gwenye ya mafelelo ye, na gwenye ya mudimu. Na gwenye ya obo ya agamore na jeso. Aru kopa na kapi. Shalavotzi.